Time now for us to bring in Pat Pagano at a check on the tri-state forecast. And, you know, yesterday afternoon, Pat, late in the afternoon, I got very happy. You know why? No. Because it was a it was windy, cold day. But then all of a sudden, clouds started moving in in the afternoon. And I said to myself, well, if the clouds hold, maybe it won't be so cold. Now, I don't know if they held or not, but... Uh, this morning, uh, when I woke up, it was a, a relatively warm 19 degrees. Yeah, and um, high clouds are overhead. And uh, that kept the temperature from really uh, dropping um, to even colder levels. So we were lucky. Plus, there's very little snow cover now. Yeah. So a uh, couple of negative factors uh, as far as real cold. But it looks like, uh, you know, a, a decent day coming up as far as I could see. Um I'm going to call it partly sunny, and I think our temperatures today uh, should be about 40. Cloudy tonight, rain comes in late. We're in the mid-30s, but tomorrow we have light rain. Then a little bit of sun begins to poke through late in the day, 45 to 50, and that paves the way for clear, cold New Year's Eve. But Friday will turn cloudy, and a wintry mix will arrive late in the day. So it's not going to be during the day Friday, but late in the day, in the mid-30s. Uh, Saturday, we have some lingering rain, 45 to 50. And then there's a chance of some snow showers and highs probably uh, right around 40 come Sunday. Well, that's not too bad. What it was yesterday, uh, there was a constant, like, breeze, okay? Yes, yes. A and it wasn't a big breeze. But maybe it was probably five, six, but it was constant. And so... It felt much colder than it was yesterday. Absolutely, yep. It was a good wind chill yesterday, uh, keeping temperatures, uh, wind chill temperatures, like in the teens. Um, so, uh, you know, but we all have to remember, folks, we are really in the early stages of winter, and mm. the sun right now is very ineffective. It's not like, you know, it's not like it was back in November, you know, or... Uh, how it is in the spring, uh, you get into the sun, it's much, much, much warmer. At this time of the year, it's not all that effective. So, uh, you yeah, know, there's a, as, they, as they've been predicting, a cold, dark winter ahead. And uh, we still have no idea about, there's no big storms in the forecast ahead, right? No big storms, no, okay. not at all. Uh, I mean, and if we get anything again, uh, later Friday, it's a wintry mix. Um, to me, that's probably worse than a big storm. Yeah. Uh, you know, because you're going to deal with ice. You'll be dealing with ice. So if anybody is going to be traveling uh, later Friday, Friday night, that you have to keep in the back of your mind. Right. I don't know who is because I've been talking to a lot of people and no one is doing anything uh, for New Year's Eve. I told you, I'm just, I'm going by um, uh, uh, Anthony's uh, new house and there's only going to be four of us there. That's it. Four of you bringing in yeah. the new year. That's it. Are you going to be blowing on one of those things that rolls out and makes noise? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, that, that you know, as far as that's concerned, but there won't be any hugging or anything like that. That's for sure. I always used to like to take those things and get up close to my sister and and do it into her face and hit her in the face with it. You know, you blow on it. And the thing would roll out. Uh, right. They still have them. And yeah, the, the little party uh, party uh, things. They still have those. And they have the things that you pull and they, they pop. And it's like a little soda bottle. You pull the uh, string and then they pop and little streamers come out. Well, I don't know. It's been so long since I've done that because I go to bed so early. Yeah, but, I but, know. But but this year uh, I I'm going to text my uh, my kids early. I'm not going to get up. At, I, I normally get up at midnight and text them a happy new year or, or call them and wish them a happy new year. This year it's going to go out before I go to bed. So I'm not going I'm not going to get back up at midnight. I'm, I'm just going to send my New Year's greetings out early. That's it. Oh well, that's a good thing. Okay, that's good. That's good. You can do that. That that's definitely good. Yeah, I don't I don't have any great plans. I was thinking that. Um, I have um, leftover eggnog, so rather than make a punch, I'm going to uh, bake some eggnog muffins for uh, New Year's morning, and I'll bring uh, some of those over to Anthony's, so he's got something for the morning, and um, 
I guess I'll go to the bakery and get a piece of cake as well. Have you ever had eggnog scrambled eggs? No. Yeah. What do you, you do? You put the eggnog in the in the egg and scramble it, and then instead fry it up? of you, you take like three or four eggs, okay, and then yeah. you 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 put it you put in some eggnog, okay, and you and you scramble it up. That's exactly right. But then, when you serve it. And I know this is going to sound horrible to you, but because you put a little powdered sugar on it, and it's more like a dessert for breakfast. It tastes like eggnog. It's eggs. And you put powdered sugar on it? Just a little bit of powdered sugar. You have to add a little sweetness to it. Very, that's very sweet. Yeah, yeah. Well, I tell you what I, uh, what I do um, when I have the eggnog, I put a little bit, in the egg mixture, but then I make French toast. There you go. That's that. That's another great way to do it. You're exactly right. right. You're exactly right. The problem with eggnog is when you get it, even if you get it in the, in the quart size, and like with me, if I were to buy a quart of eggnog, I'd have one. I'd have one cup of it. And I, right. I wouldn't have the rest. And that's because, the end. Right. Yeah, that's, I mean, eggnog is that thing you like to have it once during the holiday season. Okay, let's drink some eggnog. Let's blow away a thousand calories really quick, but have something that's interesting, and that's it. <laughs> but but then the rest it sits there, and you got to throw it away. So yeah. So I don't do that. No, I don't do that anymore. Oh well. Yeah. I'm turned well. into a, a a mean old man. <laughs> well, I would I would go that far. You just you know you. You just kind of settled in your ways. That's all. <laughs> you could more you, than like, more than you, that, right? You can say that I'm settled in my <laughs> ways. <laughs> yes, I am settled in my ways. I don't know how it's going to go over when I get older. <laughs> right. All right. So we've got a halfway decent day today, and then even New Year's Eve might have some problems with New Year's Day. But uh, other than that, looks okay, right? Yeah, sure does. And uh, you know, keep warm and. Uh, Enjoy the day. I'll be back tomorrow with a complete New Year's Day forecast. All right, Pat. Have a good day. Bye, Marshall. Pat out this morning in the Weather Center with a check on the tri-state forecast.